Hi guys. Well, it is a 25 degree snowy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on a, out in the boonies of western New York. Good Lord. Counting down the days here. And it is Friday the 13th. That is your lucky day. It is Friday the 13th of January 2023, uh, as if Friday the 13th is different than any other day, but since it is Friday, it's time to do what I do every Friday, and that is head over to mongabay.com for my ecological meltdown roundup rant, which we did not have last week. We skipped over it last week because he was still kind of mopping up uh, from last year. So, uh, looks like Red and the boys and girls are back in business with their usual cavalcade of catastrophe. And we're going to start, as we frequently do down here, for the first Manga Bay headline of 2023. Wow. <laughs> I, cannot think, I cannot think of a better Manga Bay headline than this one. Kicking off 2023, deforestation out of control in reserve in a protected area in Brazil's cattle capital. Forest destruction has ravaged Triunfo do Jingu, a reserve earmarked for sustainable use. Hmm. That has nonetheless become one of the most deforested slices of the Brazilian Amazon. Fires burn swaths of the sustainability reserve. Yeah, in recent months, and forest clearing has surged with satellite images showing even the most remote remnants of the old growth rainforest were whittled away. <coughs> last year. Advocates say the forest is giving way to cattle pasture, although illegal mining and land grabbing are gaining ground. Yes, and, and the most hilarious sentence of all, the destruction facilitated by lax environmental regula regulation is placing pressure on nearby protected areas. Do you think so? So this, you understand, this is not a protected area. This is a sustainable use area. Uh, don't even, <laughs> don't even get me going. Uh, okay, there's a lot going on here. Uh, here is one about protected protecting wild dogs from planet-wide threats. Are you a wild dog under threat from the planet? Five species of wild dogs are now considered endangered, uh, stretching from North and South America, Asia, and Africa often share, although they're spread out all over, they often share similar threats. How about habitat loss, persecution, disease, and climate change. For some at risk species, loss of prey, particularly due to snaring, is a significant concern. Uh, Yep, 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 yep. Uh, five species, my ass. I mean, I, I can think it's like every species other than coyotes. What do they mean, five species? Uh, anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. Okay. Here's from wild dogs uh, to toke geckos. Rumors and misconceptions threaten toke geckos in Bangladesh. Widespread misconceptions about the medicinal benefits 
of Toke geckos are leading to these nocturnal lizards being hunted across Bangladesh. Wildlife traffickers set an exorbitant price on trapped geckos based on rumors about their international demand. Uh, anyway, wild dogs, geckos, all right, what is going on with mining in Ecuador? Imagine what's going on. In Ecuador, communities protecting a terrestrial coral reef face a mining giant. For nearly 30 years, communities have worked to conserve, restore, Oh, and defend the cloud forest of the Intag Valley in Ecuador and what locals say is the longest continuous resistance movement against mining in Latin America. The uh, tropical Andes are considered the world's most biodiverse hotspot. Uh, less than 15 percent of Ecuador's original cloud forests remain and only four percent of all forests in northwestern Ecuador uh, remain. Codelco, the world's largest copper producer, plans to open a mine in the Intag Valley that would destroy the tiny little shreds of primary forest left there that lie within the buffer area of Cotacachi Cayapas National Park, a plan that experts say would be ecologically devastating and not worth the cost. Uh, I was actually lived in the Intag Valley of Ecuador in uh, 2010 and 2011. I got run out of I got run out of the Intag Valley by these enraged gringo uh, tree huggers who, uh, <laughs> anyway, that's another story for, but I, but I have lived in the middle of the Intag Valley and there's nothing left already there. And, uh, but good for them. I, I can't believe, I mean, this fight against this giant copper mine was in full swing 11 years ago. Anyway, but it, the copper miners will win, obviously. Um, here's another uh, story about how Lula is going to save the rainforest and the planet. Uh, a lot of this stuff. I was just reading, I, I had forgotten this place in my book that I wrote in 2009 when I was living in Peru, not Ecuador, uh, talking about, you know, when Lula was president, talking about one of these giant planet-eating um, hydroelectric dams that Lula was promoting down there. Not Belo Monte, but the been the Madeiras River Dam, which no one has ever heard of, and uh, talking about how Lula was busy saving the planet. Uh huh. Anyway, here is we've talked wild dogs, geckos. Here is harpy eagles. Uh, the Amazon, the challenge of protecting. The Amazon's largest bird of prey. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Habitat loss, hunting, and collision with high voltage wires. You know, like all those high voltage wires running from all of those giant hydroelectric dams that Lula is such a big fan of. Those high voltage wires are the main threats to harpy eagles. It is also common for people to shoot a harpy out of mere curiosity. And now, with the worsening 
of climate change, the harpy eagle will have a reduced distribution and may disappear from regions such as the arc of deforestation. Okay, from the arc of deforestation in Brazil, what's going on in El Salvador in the year 2023? El Salvador poised for a big year of road building despite environmental concerns. El Salvador has prioritized refurbishing and expanding its road system, in many cases destroying habitats for vulnerable species. 2023 looks to be yet another ambitious year for road building, with the government announcing several large-scale infrastructure projects throughout the country. Yep. Uh, y y y you know, uh, th this is hilarious. So they do all of these stories about uh, Lula saving the Amazon rainforest and the planet, and now we see this story, which does not have Lula's name in it, at least the little uh, recap of it. Damned now mind indigenous Brazilians fight for the Zingo River's future. Canadian mining company Belo Sun wants to build a huge gold mine in the big bend of the Zingu River, <clears throat> uh, but faces opposition from indigenous communities. Uh, so the same region is already suffering the impacts of the Belo Monte Hydroelectric Dam. Huh. You know, one of these big uh, pet projects of Lula. Uh, that dam, which diverts up to 85% of the flow of the Zingu River, leading to a mass decline in fish Yep, 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 yep. There you go. Maybe uh, Lula can uh, clear his conscience by not allowing the gold mine on the river he's already destroyed. All right, from Brazil to Venezuela. Hmm. Venezuela's Yapacana National Park suffering increasing mining and deforestation. Who would have thunk it? Satellite imagery analyzed by NGO Amazon Conservation revealed that illegal mining operations inside Yapacana National Park, huh, located in the Venezuelan Amazon, are clearing protected forest much faster than previously thought. Over 1,870 acres of deforestation took place last year. Uh, I guess it's mostly related to mining inside the park. Although law enforcement did carry out raids in the area in December, many experts hmm, believe the problem will persist amid government complacency. All right, well, I'm headed to Belize here in a couple of weeks. So what is the news out of Belize? We've already, so let's see, we've checked out Brazil, Venezuela, El Salvador. Murdered Belize environmentalist helped boost marine conservation. John Ramarase, who worked on protected area patrol and marine conservation technology, was shot and killed alongside his brother David in Belmopan, Belize on New Year's Eve. The main suspect is a police, is a cop. Uh, 
was taken into custody and charged with two counts of murder. Uh, Remen Narse dedicated his life to protecting land and marine habitats in Central America. Yep, yep, yep. And he got a bullet through his head. Okay. How about increasing violence against settlers in the Brazilian Amazon? Well, I guess there is some good news. Uh, I'm sort of joking. This is so. What this is is, of course, the difference between planet nibblers and planet eaters. Residents of a landless workers settlement. Um, in Brazil's Amazon region accused the federal government of favoring large landowners, land grabbers, and corporations at the expense of poor and landless peasants. Yes. Uh, anyway. Uh, so. Yeah. I'm not, I, 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 anyway, anyway uh, I'm not going to head off into an hour-long rant trying to uh, explain the difference between planet nibbling and planet eating. All right? Landless peasants are planet nibblers. The Bellow Sun Energy Corporation is a planet eater. Anyway, let's go over to Indonesia uh, for the first story out of Indonesia in 2023. Indonesia's biofuel push must go beyond palm oil to reduce risk. Indonesia faces deforestation, energy, and security risks from its over-reliance on palm oil as feedstock for its biofuel transition program. The government in February will increase the biofuel blend and diesel to 35% with an eye on a 50-50 blend uh, by 2025 and eventually fossil-free biodiesel, but take a wild guess what the bio and biodiesel is, is palm oil. But the program calls for a massive increase in palm oil production, and with yields now largely stagnant, this will almost certainly mean clearing more forest to establish new oil palm plantations. Do you think so? I love palm oil uh, being biofuels. Oh, Lord. I've heard about enough of this damn uh, UN biodiversity. I think we know everything we need to know. All right, more stories how Lula, Lula is teaming up with the noble savages to save, save the rainforest. You go, guy. Okay. I love it when they ask a question, and I'm going to let you answer this question for yourself to see if we've been communicating. Okay, the question is, is Indonesia serious about stopping climate change and boosting renewable energy? Dee, dee, dee. And next to that, Indonesia prosecutors decry lenient sentences in palm oil corruption case. An Indonesian court has found a top trade ministry official 
a prominent economist and three palm oil executives guilty for violating requirements to ensure supplies of palm oil for the domestic market. Uh, but prosecutors and anti-corruption uh, activists say these sentences and fines are too are far too lenient in light of the suffering they caused. It doesn't say how anyway. Uh, from Indonesia to the Philippines. All right. We have a new conservation window. We have a new window beckoning. I don't know if the if it's a slam chassis new window. I guess I guess when you know when all of those rapidly closing windows slam shut. So you're never opening that window again. So what you do now, I guess the new uh, uh, apocalyptic hopium is just build a new window. You, you know, one window rapidly shuts. Build a new window. Hmm. Scientists have identified 228 key biodiversity areas in the Philippines, but only 91 of them are currently part of the country's network of protected areas. Yes, but don't worry, 3030 is coming to the rescue. Uh, okay, we have a Sumatran tiger showing up in Tacoma, Washington. It's part of a captive breeding program. There you go. Good for the tiger. Uh, well, we heard about a coral reef in the Ecuador jungle. Now we're going to go back to the to Venezuela, where locals fight to save a piece of the sea in Venezuela's Andes. All right, this is Ural Lagoon. Lagoon is the only brackish continental lagoon in Latin America, uh, but it is threatened by encroaching development. Who would have thunk it? Uh, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, anyway, the next one is too complicated to get into, but I think we have gotten a pretty good idea of what uh, 2023 is going to look like at mangabay.com. It's going to look a whole lot like 2022 which looked a whole lot like 2021, which looked a whole lot like 2020, which looked a whole lot like 2009 when I was writing from, when I did a, this article for Manga Bay. Well, one of the chapters in my book, Peruvian Plunge, was published in mangabay.com in 2009. And uh, I can see uh, the more things change, the more they remain the same. Every single thing, you know, I'm going back rereading that book uh, now and putting it out, uh, putting those videos out on another channel and just noticing going through this this 14-year-old book uh, that I wrote being down there. Nothing has changed since 2009. Every single word I wrote in that book in 2009, uh, everything I talked about is a hell of a lot worse 
uh, on, on every metric. And that is that. And I need to, speaking of uh, Peruvian plunge, I need to get back to my audiobook. Bye, guys.